right. I already have the MPCNC and I'm very happy with it as you can tell from some of my recent videos. I've been starting to do some uh, machining with it the past few days using the uh, router here. And well, I've had some success and some failures. Here is a success. The uh, plate, so I convert this guy into a low rider, which for something this size tends to work better. And the low rider rides on the table instead of rails in one axis. So this is the piece which will put it on here, ride along the table. Uh, the original design by Alted, the same guy who did the uh, MPCNC, you can tell the parts are very similar. He used uh, skate wheels, 60 millimeter wheels for rollerblades, inline skates, which is cool. Uh, I didn't feel like buying any, <laughs> so I came up with a 3D printable wheel. Uh, the bearings, of course, aren't 3D printed, but the wheels themselves are. Um, they're printed out of three pieces two inner pieces of PLA and an outer uh, TPU tire, if you will. Uh, this is just test assembled. Uh, this piece here was a massive failure. I had some bad cuts go on there. Uh, this one's good. This will be used. But I'm still missing two pieces that go down here, the stepper holder in here, and the piece here which holds the uh, Z-rail for the uh, machine that goes up and down in there. But this is already coming out better than I anticipated. And I, I can fit this on here and it holds itself. It rolls. My wheels work. Uh, they've got really, really cheap Chinese bearings in them right now. These were some bearings that I bought just to see how bad they were because it was like 10 free just pay a dollar two dollars shipping and I had to see just how bad they were and that they, they are pretty bad they, they aren't the worst bearings I've ever gotten they aren't uh, rusty and nasty like a set that I got for some quad motors two years ago but they were uh, they, they don't roll very smooth so I'll, I'll be ordering better bearings for the whole system still but this is gonna be a long slow process. I'm not in any rush to build this. I've got a working machine. I just wanted to make printable wheels and see how they worked. And I am very happy with them. Uh, I could probably snug this up even tighter here. This part is adjustable. And I have it set as deep as it goes right now, but I could probably crank this up. Snug it in there and make it a little tighter, and the tires will actually, yeah, that is, that's not going much of anywhere now. That tire is on there. And in fact, that's probably too tight. Uh, I can feel that it's really squishing the tire. But I'm pretty happy with that. I'm, I'm really happy with that. The uh, design of the tires is pretty cool. I'll probably do a video on them. They're, uh, like I said, three pieces. The hub is two pieces, so it can print without support and still have room for the bearing that goes in the center. I wish I had some spare ones I could demo with, but that'll have to wait for another video. So these two pieces go together, and on the outside, they're V-shaped, and the tire has a V-shaped cutout in it. So the tire uses the flexibility of the TPU to slide back on there. And... Once they're on, they aren't coming off. I can't get these back off. You'd have to... I cut one off to get it off, and that's the only way they're coming off. You might be able to get a blade under there and pry them off, but you'd, you'd still end up destroying the tire in the process, I suspect. Uh, I did them with two profiles. This one, you might be able to see, has a flatter face on it. So it's st st uh, stuck to my print bed better. And it has, therefore, square edges and then a round curve over it and it's actually that's not a good example that's one of the rounder ones <laughs> the uh, where is it this one has this more square profile if you I don't know how well this will show on video but you this one here 
has sharp edges and then curves over so it's easier to print and prints more symmetrically. This one has rounded edges so the overhang doesn't print quite as cleanly and it doesn't print quite as nice but it's still totally usable. Um, I'm, I'm printing the TPU tires with six perimeters so they're very stiff and the center section here is basically solid TPU that rides on the PLA so they, they have very little give this way they still have some squish on the corners but the, the center is pretty strong uh, honestly I think I would trust it to support me on a skate but I wouldn't suggest using these for skates because the TPU I, I don't think it would last very long in that kind of application at all but for this I think they're gonna be great I, I'm really hyped about this I can't oh, I've got it upside down but I can't wait to uh, put this thing together some more and yeah that's that's gonna be nice uh, I'll have to redesign my table because I'm hitting the legs over here so I, I wouldn't have oh no I might have enough room we'll see but I kind of want to redo the table anyway turn it into a better torsion box with a skin on the bottom as well as the top and uh, maybe go to the, some thinner material because I don't really need it that thick up there but it's it's doing good you can see I've been doing machining and I had some fun failures uh, my uh, power cord for the router got caught between the uh, roller and this uh, brace twice <laughs> because I don't learn from my mistakes apparently and uh, that one way back there failed because the power cord got caught somewhere else so yeah it, it was that kind of morning but just want to show this off because I'm excited I'll do some more details on the tires later because I'm really excited about those and uh, next month or two three four I'll be taking my time building this up and we'll see how it goes I'm kind of excited because that means I can get rid of most of this and instead of having this giant machine taking up my whole table I will have a machine this size which I can push off to the edge and have the rest of my table available for working on when I'm not using the machine so that will be extremely nice because my shop is very small and uh, limited on space if you take a quick look around here we have the CNC we have my plain storage ladder going up to the attic which is just storage we have my comfy chair I don't get to sit in nearly enough the door a large format printer that I restored that was uh, found in a garage and my desk <laughs> and we're back to the machine so if this GoPro didn't have a wide angle lens I wouldn't even be able to show what's going on in my shop here but that's it I'm talking too much I'll let you guys get going uh, I doubt anybody likes this one is not even gonna ask for a high pot for thumbs up and all that but well I guess I did so oh well I <laughs> hope you have a good uh, good time I am and I'll keep doing it